Oh, good morning, Jesus is Lord. Hey, the word works. I'm going to try not to be too long-winded today, but man, this is good stuff. Dear God, I've had, I preached myself happy the last couple of days. I talked to you yesterday about God has given you an inheritance and you got to receive it. And the scripture that I started out with was in Psalm 116, I believe it is. What shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits toward me? Oh my, I'm a blessed man. I say that a lot. I'm blessed, blessed, blessed. God loves me. Sometimes I think I'm his favorite son. I'm a blessed, blessed, blessed man. So are you, but you have to receive it. Now, I talked to you yesterday about the benefits being co-heirs or equal sharers in the covenant about uh, me and my sister, we shared equally in the inheritance. Well, I cannot receive from God what you cannot receive from God. And if you got more than I do, well, I got some good news. I can get it because God is not a respecter of persons. Now, I got to talking to a friend of mine up in Missouri yesterday about this, and I've used it before, but I, I had this happen just a few minutes ago. Uh, this is a uh, gift card, and I'm sure you won't be able to read it there because it's been in my billfold so long that the words are almost off of it. I can't even tell how much it's worth, but it's at Papa Do's Restaurant. Now, that may not be something uh, that you're familiar with, but a very nice restaurant. I believe one of my sons gave it to me, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas past. He did that because he loved me because he wanted to get me something. And, and every year I always get uh, Bass Pro Shop cards and restaurant cards because I don't need anything. I'm going to put it another way. I don't need nothing. Man, I'm telling you, uh, God has blessed me so much. You can't buy something for somebody that's already got everything. So since they don't know what to get me, they'll get me a gift card. But this gift card obviously has been in there for maybe a year. Could be even longer than that. It's got value to it. There's a, a money value that if I take this card, I can eat for free or however much it is at Pompadour's. But excuse me for the French. It ain't going to do me not one dab bit of good until I go to Pompadour's and cash it in. I want you to get that. Now watch, I'm going to go somewhere with this. The person that gave it to me decided how much money they wanted to put on it. I didn't decide that. It wasn't my idea, but they loved me enough to give it to me, and they decided how much they want me to have. God is just like that. He's already blessed you, and I know you're blessed, but he's got a lot of other stuff there, and he's the one that paid for it. Come on. Somebody says, well, maybe I can talk God into healing me. No, no, no. Jesus has already bore your sicknesses and carried your diseases. Well, you know, maybe I can beg long enough and get God to help me pay my car payment. No, no. God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. And he's already done done it. That's the only way I know to say it. You're not going to get saved by begging and pleading. You're going to have to believe in your heart and say with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and then it becomes yours experientially. experientially. Now watch this. This is the reason we don't write appeals and beg for money, uh, because it, you can't help me receive my healing. I mean, you can agree with me, and I am healed. I'm not talking about that I need healing. But when I need healing, I can go to the Word, and God has already provided it, but I got to go cash it in. It doesn't do you any good to know about your Bible. It really doesn't even do you any good to know about divine healing in your Bible until you go to it, meditate in it, believe it, and confess it. That's the way you spend what God has already done. Believe it in your heart. Say it out of your mouth. Say it, say it, say it, say it. And don't let the circumstances control you because God's already done, done it, but you got to receive it. Hey, I got to go. So I want you to remember today, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.